I think the thing I hate the most about the clubs too are these new generation of DJs that work these clubs. Like, I don't know, I just, they, they're not bringing us together, they divide us because they make shout outs that just cater to women. Everything is for the ladies. What are the ladies that's going to school? Make some noise. What are the ladies that's got a job and don't need a man for nothing because you're independent? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> How am I supposed to talk to her and you telling her not to mess with nobody? And what really messed me up is because like every time I would like talk to a girl, especially this one club I went to, she would turn me down and then the DJ would have a shout out right afterwards. I come up to her all respectful and whatnot. I'm like, hey, sweetheart, how you doing? I was wondering if you'd like to dance. She was like, what? <laughs> oh, get out of my face. You are a loser. Ew, don't talk to me. Here you go to DJ. Lady, shout out to me, tired of messing with losers. Make some noise. If you're tired of guys trying to ask you to dance, let me hear you scream. Ah! What? That's what be happening? That's why I love coming here. Ooh. I love DJ Cockblock. That is my DJ. <laughs> We gonna come back to Club Bougie every week, cause they do it right. They do it right. Yeah, man. No, this economy is, uh, is, is getting a little bit better, but a lot of people are still out of work. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm one of those people who will always try to not have a job. Like, with doing comedy, I'm my own boss. I love that, you know, I make my own hours. I'm sort of like an entrepreneur. Yeah. Like that title, I like it too, yeah. Cause this is the thing, right? Like, I, the one time I had a job, I didn't last too long because I worked for a boss whose voice I couldn't respect. You know, he happened to be foreign, and I'm sorry, if you just sound funny, you're not gonna get that kind of respect from me. Like, he was African, right? Now, if you know anything about African people, when African people extend their words, they talk to you, they extend their words, and they got a big bugged out eyes, and their accents sound thick as hell. So he would call me into the office like this, Nicholas, I want to talk to you today, Nicholas. No, come and have a seat, Nicholas. We need to have a conversation today, Nicholas. I need to ask you, okay? How many times must I tell you? If the computer is broken, you must use the machine, okay? It's like, what did you just say? Machine? My, what, machine? That's what I said, the machine, okay? Don't be smart. Get out of my face. I'm like, I think you're just mad because you don't have a green card. You're just getting real frustrated. You're taking it out on everybody. I got fired not too long after that. And this is what really messed me up, because he called my house and leave me a voicemail that I was fired. And on, you know, on the voicemail, you know, he was all angry. He's like, Nicholas, I want to know, you're not working here anymore, and you are not getting a dime, right? So then I got a, a letter in the mail, and I'm reading it. And this thing on the letter says, Nicholas, you are fired. You are not getting a dime. I'm like, what is this? And why does dime have six eyes in it? Are this I didn't make an extended letters now, this is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, that's my time, my name is Nick Alexander. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>